Hosier Charities has been around since 1923 and in those 90 years we have helped hundreds of thousands of kids throughout Kentucky and southern Indiana receive the vital medical care that they need regardless of their ability to pay. So we're the ones that they turn to to make sure that the children get the help. So we couldn't be more pleased and more happy to be here. So I came home one day from school and I thought I had a rock in my shoe, you know. So I looked and couldn't find anything and by the time I got to the steps of my home I was already down and it was caused, the disease I had was caused from a stone bruise. It was called osteomyelitis, and it was a bone disease. My birthday is when this hit. I was 10 years old. And so the lady in Smithland down here, my doctor thought I had rheumatic fever, so she was doctoring me for that. But I didn't have that. So they took me to Louisville at the 9, 982 Eastern Parkway in Louisville at the Kozar Hospital and I stayed in there almost a year. And uh, they, they were just so wonderful. I, I can't say enough about them. They just, uh, everything was free. They gave my mom a place to stay where she could be with me. And you know how that is when you go to paying hospital bills and stuff. These folks, free. It's just, it's just unreal. It's amazing what they do and I can't say enough about them. So every nickel I can get, I, it goes to them. There's a ring all her thing. And a cloak, a hand closet. I chill it up there with her. She tore our world apart. And as you I really don't know how old I was when I started fooling with the guitar, and that's what caused it all to happen. I kept fooling with that guitar when I was just a baby, and I kept learning a little bit here and a little bit there, and learning and learning and getting a job here. And my first professional job was with Miss Dottie Rambo and Bucky Rambo, uh, singing Rambo's, and I traveled with them, and I worked with them up to about 54, I believe. <laughs> He was a big man, a shaker, make a record radio my play.
Ray Smith in 56. I worked for Ray for about 15 years, I guess. And of course, Ray had a hit record, Rockin' Little Angel, so that, that took us a lot of places, you know. And I got to meet a lot of people. But one of my, one of my biggest dreams came true when I worked the Grand Ole Opry in 69 with Miss Jean Shepard. That was my, my deal, get to walk on that stage. So that's, that's one of my greatest thrills. A stepping stone Among the other hearts That you walk on Lord, help me If I fall in love with you If I see by If you're only passing The lady in Wisconsin got me in the Rockabilly Hall of Fame. That was a great thrill for me. And, and it's, just, it's just wonderful that it, this all happened to me at my age, you know what I mean? I thought it was all over, you know. Just, it, it, it's all happened to me, it's just, it's just so wonderful. I've I, I just been blessed so much, you know. Music is uh, it's a great thing and I love it. You know that, I've known you for a long time. And, but it, it can be bad, you know, it can be bad times. I mean, real bad, you know, down on the bottom. Booze, you know, and, and just things like that, you know, and working in nightclubs. Let's put it this way. The good Lord watched over me and let me live here on this earth because I've been in some situations with different, different people in different places. And we worked all over mostly in Canada, California. But I'm home now. I quit the road in about 72 and I got my home here in Grand, in Grand Rivers and, and everything's great. anything that ever happened in my life like that. A Stanley Walker day, you know, I was just way out of reach. <laughs> but they done it and Kim, Kim, Miss Kim Kramer, she helped me and it's just been wonderful. We've had a successful day to day. And uh, in the last three years, we've had a successful, successful day. And today, I think we have a full house, I believe. So we're just thrilled to death. It just means a lot to me.
Well, uh, to my fans around here, they followed me so many years, and they come to still still coming to see me over here at the community center, hearing the same things, and they're just beautiful, and I I just love every one of them. That's, that's all I can say. I love it. Every one of them is important to me. All my fans. <laughs>